Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol RGLS. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to you know, rub the salt in anyone's wounds or anything like that, but yeah, bears took a pretty big bite out of this one, the gap down, and then you had all this on the big volume. However, now from a trading perspective, it actually presents a pretty interesting scenario. So again, not to rub the salt in anyone's wounds, but just to kind of set up the uh, scenario here. But yeah, gap down, and then after that, the, the, the selling just continued and continued, and the price continued to just fall and fall and fall. However, then the price finally just started to at least go sideways, which suggests, hey, maybe some sort of bottom. And then again, each one of these represents 30 minutes. So you throw in this final part where the last 30 minutes, the volume came pouring in, and then you got this little pretty much neutral candle. Sure, it was slightly red, but you know we'd call this a doji hammer you know, in the world of charts. So bit high volume, doji candle, after price gets beat up quite a bit and then the price starts to go sideways, creates a very interesting setup. Now, don't get me wrong, I really wish trading was this easy where I could say that because all these different dynamics have happened, then next week this thing is for sure bouncing. There's no such thing as a for sure, there's no such thing as a guarantee. Now, would it be shocking to see this bounce? No, that would not be shocking at all. However, like I said, myself nor anyone else can sit here and say that a bounce is for sure happening because that just doesn't exist in the market. But if you have traded long enough, then you probably, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When these penny stocks get beat up in a hurry like this, um, they can bounce and they can bounce very nicely. So it's worth at least keeping an eye on. So in the event this thing does start to bounce, let's talk about a couple areas of resistance. First key hurdle that the bulls are gonna need to clear if this thing does start to bounce at all is basically kind of the top portion of this little miniature channel that formed late day. And that's right there at 36 cents. So 36 cents, again, like I said, if this thing has any sort of chance at all at creating some organic momentum, 36 is gonna be that first key hurdle and the next key level of resistance up there at 41 cents. So very interesting setup as I explained. Now these are definitely not setups if you're not good at honoring stop losses or managing risk, controlling risk. I mean, you shouldn't even be trading in those situations, but that's a whole nother story. But you know, definitely be very risk conscientious for things like this. And uh, you know, the risk versus reward is there, uh, but you know, it could definitely just continue to bleed. So you gotta be able to, like I said, handle and manage that risk. risk. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.